In this video, I'm going to show you some advanced sample registration features in Fluid Life's MyLab. I recommend that you've watched the register samples for mobile or fixed equipment first, as this builds on that. First, I'll start labels. For all components, on MyLab Test 1, Dozer D109. I'll enter the meter reading up here. And now, I'll switch to Advanced Info by clicking here. Each label gets bigger, and I can see the full information about these samples. Here, I can see the previous sample that my lab is calculating the rest of the service information from. I can also see the oil type, which my lab copied from the component defaults for me. I can use the drop list to select a different oil if it's not correct. If the oil I want isn't in the drop list, I can also click here to add it. I can indicate to the lab this is a resample here. I can check this to ask the lab to rush the sample. Over here, I can request additional testing. Note that the main contact will be called to verify the extra costs from rushes or additional testing. I can add notes to the lab or from my own records here. These notes will remain with the sample when the results come in. Let's go back to the basic information for a bit. I can make changes to all the samples using the multiple sample edit here. Click here to expand it. I'll use the multiple sample edit to indicate that all samples had the oil changed. By clicking here, my changes are applied to all of the samples. In advanced info, I could add notes or extra testing to all the samples at the same time, like this. If I've got a lot of samples to work with at the same time, it may be easier for me to use the spreadsheet view. I'll switch to that by clicking here. I can now see all the sample information in a spreadsheet that I can fill in. By clicking on a value or blank, I can enter data. I can fill a range with the same value by entering the value in one row here and pressing enter. Now I'll click and drag holding the mouse button down to the end of the range. When I release the mouse button, I get a pop-up fill selection button, which I'll press. Now all of my selected rows are filled in for me. I can also filter, sort, and fill entire columns using the pull-down column tools here. Now I'll create these labels. Let's assume that I've printed these and given them to the shop to take. As part of my workflow, I can do this for all samples for the day or the week in advance. The shop takes the samples and gives them back to me with any changes to the meter reading, date, or oil type noted. I can use the barcode lookup task to quickly find the samples here. If I have a barcode scanner, I can scan the jar. The tracking number is automatically entered and I'm taken to the sample information. I can also simply type the tracking number shown under the barcode. Now I can adjust any information as needed. I'll click Save to save those changes, and then ship the samples off to the lab. This takes me back to the tracking number field, where I can enter or scan another barcode. This concludes the advanced sample registration features. Thank you for watching.